Hi. Yay. Hi. Can we, let's harmonize on that. Hi. Hi. Perfect. Nailed it first time. Welcome. I took the high part. Welcome <laughs> to the, what is the name of the show? The primetime show featuring the Planet Ant Digital House team. We are Planet Ant Digital House team. Uh, we have a, kind of an interesting show for you today. We're going to do, um, normally when we, normally what we do is we'll do like a montage to warm up and to let everybody get to their seats. And, uh, <laughs> then we do like a back half of the show, which is an improvised, <laughs> like an episode of an improvised show. We've been doing the bachelor. We're going to mix it up a little bit this week, but, uh, should, I don't want to spoil it. Should we not spoil it? Should we just like, don't spoil let it? it. All right, cool. No spoilers. So, uh, so how about that? I teased it. We're going to do something interesting in the third act of our show today. Uh, although I guess it's probably like a fourth act. Because we have Fifth a sketch act. Too. Oh, Fifth. no. We're breaking the mold. Sixth oh, man. Act. Story oh, man. circle. Those Heroes are your journey. Act. Seven. This is uh, going to be a two and a half hour show. Yeah, we're mm-hmm. gonna do we're gonna do four hours of improv for you today. Uh, it's all gonna be good. So sit your ass down, get a snack, and <laughs> let's uh, uh, we let's let's get into it. Uh, if you wanna give us a suggestion of any kind in the chat, I believe. Um, what did I ask for? Something weird, something wacky, something out of this world. Uh, uh, go ahead, drop that bad boy in the chat. You can also offer us lines of dialogue, and if we're uh, if we're in the zone, we'll. Uh, We'll hit those too. Uh, hopefully, maybe. So, does anybody want to say anything else before we start doing improvisational comedy? I love We're you, good. Parker. Let's say let's right. save it. Let's save it for the stage. It's awkward. Wow. Now it's awkward. <laughs> Get back. Get back, Parker. Uh, was that was you reading the Beatles right there? Get back to where you once belonged. Is that what you said? Yes. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> Well, you missed your aunt, so let's go ahead and let's uh, let's get some improv going. I'll see y'all later. Please. I messed up. I forgot to get a suggestion. Oh man, you should have gotten one. It's just like these these shows they start, and there's just like all these moving pieces, and I'm so stressed out because this is my life, man. This is my life. You gotta find something else, man. Your life can't just be, your life just can't be, you know, getting the suggestion, okay? There's other things out there, okay? But what if there's there's not? What if there is no God? Dude, there's- Hey, five minutes to showtime! Did you get the suggestion? (sighs) Guess what, Cheryl? (laughs) Guess what what happened this week? What happened this week? No, no suggestion. All right, you don't have to do cartoon eyeballs about it. Those are just my eyeballs, Georgie. Hey, I came here with a list of suggestions, and nobody asked me, and I want my money back. He should have asked you for a suggestion. I know you come every week, Charles. Charles, we appreciate your support, but we can't give you your money back. There's three people in the audience. We need your $5. Okay, I need it. Here's a suggestion. Go fuck yourself. <gasps> Whoa, that's a- oh, but wow. it is a suggestion. Yeah, that is a Hi. suggestion. Okay, let's do a scene based on the suggestion. Going to fuck ourselves. <sighs> scene. <laughs> wow, a real life clone of me. <laughs> Tim. Cat got your tongue, Tim. <laughs> it's just so hard being another you. I walk down the road and people throw rocks at me and they spit on me. <laughs> tell me to, these are really mean things. How do you? Why are you smiling? It's just someone can relate to me. You know, it's nice. I, I, for, apparently, you didn't you didn't receive the the trauma part of my memory. Uh, but you'll get used to it. It's a lot of hatred. Whoa, two clones of me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. This well, is even more exciting than I was expecting. Man, I'm hot. Yeah, you are. Wow. 
three clones of me. Oh man, what's going on here? Wow, so you guys. Many of us. You guys, you guys better have enough organs for me because my my kidneys are going fast. Hey, listen. Uh -oh. Wow, four clones of me. Would you uh, like to hell have sex? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Scene. Scene. <laughs> Wow. I mean, you, what? Uh, I was just going to say, you you look pretty relaxed for what you're about to tell me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no good way to say this, but your mom got hit by a train. Yeah, I know. I tied oh. her tracks. You, you, you tied her to the track. I mean... It, it, you it's you know you're not joking here. This is this is this is you're really saying this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it started out fun. We were, what? The fun? I said That's it your idea. Out fun. Okay. Did, you, did it start out with you tying her to the tracks, or was there something? Am I missing something big here? Look, I don't know who you think you are, but. You I'm a I'm a police officer. I right? I'm a detective. I I enforce the law. Am am I being detained? I don't. I still don't know if you're joking, son. You're gonna have to explain more. You know, I don't have a good ear for jokes. Look, we were playing cops and robbers. I can relate to that, of course. Yeah, and <laughs> you know when when you're chasing a robber. And you yeah, <laughs> when you're chasing a robber, yeah. Yeah, I've, so, been, I've been there. It's just it's a misunderstanding. Yeah, I you know I got this scar right here, freaking robber hit me in the jaw. I mean, really, I'm I'm really, really yeah that that you're the cop that's questioning me about this because there's a really long list of shit that I've done that I don't want any cop to really know about. So, but it's well, I, fun. I'm here because there's your mom splattered all over the tracks. I still I still need to figure out how you were horsing around or how this happened besides cops and robbers. You know, I've I've arrested a lot of robbers. None of them none of them ended up on the tracks. When did you become a cop? I mean, the, you're obviously a very recent cop. It's I I really I like to think of it I've always been a cop. You know, kind of always been a cop. Hey. 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 Look at me. Look at me. Hey. Can you teach me to be a cop? Can you tell me how you killed your mom? Like, I need a scene. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm running, I'm running down the block, and this guy's chasing me, and he's yelling, cops and robbers, cops and robbers, cops and robbers. And I didn't know what to do, so I hit him with a piece of rebar. I I don't know what that is, dude. I think it's like I think it's like a pipe, kind of. I hit him with like a pipe. You hit him with a pipe. Yeah, I, I told him. you. Why do you carry these old timey weapons, dude? I bought you a freaking gun. Here's another gun. Take the, uh, take the gun, dude. Take the I, freaking gun. I prefer this right. hand crossbow, okay. personally. Uh, it, it just you embarrass me. Everybody's like your brother's around town, and he hit someone with a candlestick. We're not in Clue, dude. <laughs> well, I'm over it. It's embarrassing me. What am I gonna do with this wrench then? And I see the dynamite in your pocket. All right, just hand it over. Well, it's long fuse in case, like, I don't know, I need to blast through a mountain or something. In case you're going to kill a coyote. I'm sorry, a roadrunner. I, I don't know. How do I, I kill, kill a coyote you with know, dynamite? You, the, the stupid ways that you pick up on that you live your life. It's dumb. Is, you don't think they're going to arrest you one day. You well, Just because it's a wrench doesn't mean it's not... A weapon, even though that goes against. Damn Last it. I checked, are you onto something? There's no laws in the Constitution about my ninja stars. Yeah, I think there are. It's thou shall not cut people. I don't know. I never read the Constitution. I think that's the Bible. Yeah, but the point is, you're embarrassing me, and I'm going to need you to like step well, up. And I mean, we're in a gang. You're walking around doing gang stuff. With ninja stars? 
ninjas are the original gangsters. Oh Watch a Kurosawa thing. movie. I don't know what that is either. I never understand what you're saying. How do we come out of the same woman? I'm always, you're ashamed of me. I'm always recommending to you sweet animes to watch and you never watch them. You just go, oh yeah, sure, I'll add it to the list. And then you never watch them. When you say anime, I thought you said animation and I just was reading comic yeah. books. That's but what you, you're saying. Is. Yeah, but I'm starting to think that it has more to do with a specific type thing. I don't know. I just, we hang out, you act some type of way, and then I feel. What does that mean, some type of way? <laughs> See. It means you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just that I really, really miss that time in my life. Okay. Well, Grandpa, I think I better go. Well, no, you can't. You can't go. I, there's more Funyuns in the pantry. I bought them just for you. I don't eat them. I need Grandpa, you. Grandpa, you've them. already filled me up so heavily on Funyuns and stories. I, I, I have to get back to my normal life. I have work later. No, come on, you don't need to work out. Listen, you stay here. This this whole house is yours. All right. I'm 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 leaving it to you in in the will. If if, if you if you hang out with me a little longer, I really could use a brand new house. My old one's getting kind of rotted. Well, I hate to break it to you, but this one's this one's half rotted as well. Mine mine is full rotted. So if I just hop oh. from from rot to half rot, maybe eventually I'll make it to twenty five percent rot. Ah, uh, that's what this one started out as when I bought it two years ago. Mm. That's right. I bought a I bought a pretty rotted house. My life hasn't been so good lately, Junior. Grandpa, if you got all these great stories though, have you ever thought about monetizing it? I mean, that's what that's what this generation's all about. Making a TikTok about it or being a stand up comedian about it or doing a TED talk about it. No, if I ever if I ever make a dollar off my stories, I want you to shoot me in the head. Okay, Grandpa, I couldn't shoot you in the head. Then I'd go to jail, and th my house would would just get full rot, and I wouldn't be able to enjoy it. I think I. I'm sorry. If you want my half rot house, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to play by my rules now. You're gonna have to eat the whole bag of funyuns in the pantry. Why you do this to me, Grandpa? What what happened to you? Why why you become so so vindictive? I'm lonely, okay. I'm lonely and I'm bored. I got nobody besides you, Junior. You got you have your stories, so they can keep you company. You ever think about writing them down, maybe drawing them, maybe animating them into like a feature-length film and selling it to Disney? No, because... Because they're not my stories, okay? They're not mine. I, what, 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 what do you mean, Grandpa? I stole them, okay? I stole them, all right? I stole them from the Dick Van Dyke show. Everything that I've been telling you is just... <laughs> Have you seen the grandpa, Mom? Have you seen the grandpa on TikTok? He's got stories. I just... I just don't... <laughs> oh, sorry, what, Mom? I just don't get you kids with these TikToks. I don't I don't understand it. What what do you get out of some grandpa who who's telling stories in 30 seconds? He's super fun and he's super funny, not like you. Well he's like old and funny, and you're like old and boring. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm a lone I'm a lone analyst. It's a it's a boring job, but it puts food on the table and it's gonna put you through college. I'm not going to college. 
what did you just say? I'm not going to college. I'm going to be a talker. A talker? Like you're going to a stand- talker, a tick talker. I'm going to be all. Well, honey, I, I'm sure that you've put a lot of thought into this, but I'm yeah, just I thought sure. about it all night last night for an hour. I, I, I'm just concerned that you're <laughs> not sexy enough to make it in Hollywood. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. They'll pump you and they'll Did dump you? you, you know? That's disgusting. Also, did you just say that I'm not sexy enough? Honey, honey you're beautiful. First of all, you're you made sexy. my blood. So if I'm not sexy, whose fault is that not sexy, I mom made blood? Your blood? Yeah. Look. You In know, your it, uterus when I lived there? Okay, well, we need to get you into a science class before you graduate. But we, I, it wasn't my first choice to become a loan analyst. I wanted. Mom, mom. Honey, someday you will attract a wonderful man. But Hollywood is different. Look at this DM, mom. That says Chris Kattan? It does. You're getting DMs Chris from Kattan Chris Kattan. is on my, if I had a dick, he'd be oh, on no. it. No, honey, that's that's a lateral oh, career Kattan. move for you. You got to be thinking Chris about Kattan. this stuff you know, if you're going to Hollywood. Hurt me. <sighs> no more. You know who he is. He's small and he's going to be mine. Yes. I watched yeah. him. He was great on SNL for a few years and then just never caught hold really anywhere after that. I was and a then, child of the 80s, hon. I know what Chris Kattan is. And I'm telling yeah. you that if Hollywood finds out that you're in bed with Chris mm-hmm. Kattan, it's over for you before it starts. Why can't you just ever be proud of me, okay? I worked my sexy ass off to get Chris Kattan to slide into my DMs and my mom can't be proud of me. I just think that if you're going to go with alt comedy people from the late 80s, you should at least hold out for for something better, like oh. a Rob Schneider or a David Spade. Oh my god. I'm sitting down because my legs hurt! Gerald... Well. Well, I'm telling you, we got to keep going. Otherwise, the lava from that volcano is going to come down here and totally wipe us out, all right? We got to get out of this area. It's time. I'm I'm okay with it. What? You're okay with You're okay with dying from lava? Yeah. What do you mean? We Come on. The 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 helicopter's just another 2 miles, okay? We can we can get out of here, okay? I'm I'm I'm, I'm a scared of flying. I don't want to get on that helicopter. You're scared of flying? Well, if you get hit by that lava, you're going to fly up to heaven, all right? And that's not going to be too pleasant of an experience. Look, most people don't get to choose how they die. And I've always wanted to be on the news. Come on, you could be on the news for something else. You could get tied down to the train tracks and you'd end up on the news, okay? I wish one of my clones was here. Jump on that helicopter for me. Or the clone could freaking carry you to the helicopter, all right? Who could freaking carry me to the helicopter? I can't. I have lupus. I'm too weak. You know what they say. Anytime somebody brings up lupus, you got to end the set. That's mm-hmm. that's how the show uh, House works, right? Well, they finally had lupus in the last episode of House ever. Yeah. Didn't Selena Gomez have lupus? Or has lupus? Is lupus forever? It is. Okay. It's like love. It's like love. It's forever. Unless, uh, unless yeah. you divorce lupus. Yeah. Lupus then, divorce court. But then lupus gets half your assets. Do you really want to go through that? Eh, if it means I don't got lupus, sure. I mean, that's... You are correct. She does have lupus. There we go. Oh, wow. wow. I don't know this why I know like, that. This is part <laughs> improv, part celebrity gossip, just a little tea well, here and there. They're all the same in. thing. It's not gossip if, if we just confirmed it. 
right? It's true. I guess. Yeah. yeah. It's not gossip. It was gossip until Michael got on the <laughs> Got on the horn. Well, that was quick. That was quick. <laughs> facts can be gossip, right? Are facts can, can yeah, facts can, be gossip? You, yeah, you can, definitely. You can, you can definitely. gossip only be opinions. If the other no, person has a fax machine, you can definitely fax them gossip. Yeah, that's true. Facts don't that. care about your feelings. Oh, cool. That's <laughs> not welcome on the show, Michael. So, uh... <laughs> facts care about my feelings. Yeah. Bill Nye, the science guy, cares about my feelings, and he cares about facts. So checkmate. Uh, let's uh, let's jump into uh, the second part of our show here. Uh, we've got a wonderful sketch that was sent to us by our own Esther Navarez, who's right You're just next me. to me. Uh, she's she's out here making cool oh. sketches, and here's another one. Uh oh. Brandon's longtime girlfriend Lily was completely oblivious to his serial murders, even after numerous obvious signs. His most infamous killing being the gruesome day he cut the skin off of his two victims and wore them as a skin suit. This is so nice and thoughtful. You really went all out for our anniversary. It's great. I'll just turn this murder podcast off so that we could focus on each other's company. I can't believe it's been a whole year, babe. I love you and I'm so excited to give you your gift. Oh, sweetie, you didn't have to. You've already done so much. I love being able to spend time together and I just feel like I can be like open and just share everything with you. I feel the same way. And you know how proud I was when I finally won you over. But I have a confession to make. What is it? I'm just gonna say it. My life's dream isn't to be murdered. You! There, I said it! Shut up. Stop trying to be funny. We've already talked about this. How exciting it would be to be taken out by a serial killer. To be watched and hunted for months as he plots our demise. And then he sneaks into our house. And then he cuts us open in our bed. Ugh. You know the rest. It's so romantic. It's our dream. That's not a dream. That's a nightmare. Are you kidding me right now? That's our dream. That's always been our life's dream. No! My life's dream is to open a bed and breakfast in Ohio. It feels so good to finally say it out loud. It's stupid. Next you're gonna tell me you don't want to name your kids Ted and Dahlia. Stop playing. Stupid? You want to be murdered. That's stupid. That's insane. And I want to name my kids Lily and Dan Jr., okay? And who would ever want to name their daughter after a half corpse? We want to do that. Oh my God, your gift. I got you a murder simulation. They'll be here any minute. What? Are you serious right now? Someone's gonna come to our house and surprise murder me? A stranger is gonna is gonna pop out out of nowhere and cut me up into bits. Well, not bits, really. I mean, they might have an axe, and that would be just like huge, recognizable chunks of flesh. Not the point. This was supposed to be our special day. You know, what would be special a chainsaw. They might have a chainsaw. They asked me what I preferred, and I said, "Surprise me." I don't want to be fake murdered. You have to cancel this. It's insane. I can't! I can't! It's not refundable. It's a murder. I don't like any of this. I'm so scared. I kind of thought you were going to bring a weapon. You've got a group on, lady. <laughs> Wow, that was exhilarating. I knew you'd love it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Oh, I can't afford to. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Groupon I, has the best massages. Really? <laughs> I uh, actually knew a person named Dahlia, and I didn't realize how insane that was until just in the middle of that sketch. <laughs> that, you, that somebody would actually name a person that. What? Can I ask a question? What is yeah. what is Groupon? I I've I still what? don't know a Groupon. It's it's coupons. Yes, it's coupons that oh. you pay but for. It's, but what it's is that? Usually for like more services, I guess. A lot of them are for like like a massage or a manicure or a, or going to like an amusement park or something like that. Yeah, Allegedly, so, I think it used to be a, a group of people all have to buy it for it to be cheaper, but uh, now it's so a thing. It's what it is. is. A mommy and a daddy love each other very much. <laughs> and they start a business. And the business is struggling for customers. They pay Groupon to give people discounts on their mobile app, website, and via email. Oh. Yeah. But it is one of those things where if you just never want to pay full price for a massage, you can just always get a group on one. Oh, they I hope you come that. back. I they always a, hope you come back. I paid full price for a massage once. No. You could uh, uh, you don't have like a podcast you could get a discount code with or something? Um, <laughs> That's no. a great idea. Start a podcast and get discount codes for the stuff that you want. Mm hmm. Use discount code Kevin. What would your discount code be for? Me? Yeah. What would you discount? Oh man. Uh, probably milk. Milk. <laughs> Milk's already so cheap, Kevin. Milk's like two dollars a gallon. <laughs> if you could have got a Tesla. <laughs> Look. <laughs> How much <laughs> milk are you choice. buying? And that's my choice. Get off my head. How much milk do you drink in a day? I don't drink a lot of milk, but that's what I already use the group on for, okay? At least mm. strawberry milk or something. Do you guys Wait, buy milk? milk? Do you guys buy milk? I don't buy milk. Oh I'm milk. on uh, I'm on the almond milk now because it lasts longer. I don't do dairy. Milk also I also food. don't can't really do dairy as much anymore. If I eat cereal and ice cream on the same day, my morning does not start the way I want it to. So. Just <laughs> so you gotta eat cereal one day and milk the next day. Basically, <laughs> I, I have to regiment the amount of dairy that I eat every day, or else it's just like I lose basically an hour. Like I just lose an hour <laughs> the next day. You you alternate doing a spoonful of cereal on Monday, then you do a spoonful of milk on Tuesday. And then it's not like a full bowl. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go almond milk, man. I'm surprised this is a total tangent, and we don't have to talk about this. But I'm surprised Ooh. they don't have. I'm surprised they don't have like a cereal that never gets soggy, like already suspended in milk that you could just like buy like mm -hmm. that. You know, why don't they have that? Is it because it'd be too weird of a texture? I'm assuming grape it's nuts, Reese's Reese's cereal, Reese's puffs. They kind of never get soft. Mm. Uh. That's actually a bad thing about almond milk. The only bad thing I've experienced so far is that it doesn't do that. It just gets like – it just like turns into like just like soggy nonsense. It doesn't have still like that good – I don't know how to explain this, but it's different. And really? when, you're, when your cereal gets soggy in almond milk versus regular milk, it's different. Really? Uh, it's, do it's almond breeze. I feel like almond breeze is pretty close. I'm pretty sure that's what I have in my fridge. What? Almond breeze 60? Oh, I don't know. We're like, going to have to take this. We're gonna pick this up after the pot or after the maybe it's just life cereal. Uh, I almost said podcast because I felt like I was on a podcast. I just suck the milk from the cowies' teat. Cool. You shouldn't do that. You're gonna get. Of course you do. That's how you get lupus. Yeah, that's how, that's you, how get you get a date with the cow. <laughs> that's how you get a call a cow to call you back. Yeah, but uh, you're. You're uh, not going to marry it because why marry the cow if you're getting the milk for free? Because Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't my... fuck a cow. <laughs> Who's going to put for, it out there? Only for the choice cuts. Let's go into some uh, – <laughs> let's go into the, the second portion of our show. It's all it's all jumbly in my third. brain now. What portion of the show is this? Is the third part of our three. show. three. Uh, of our very interesting different show today. Uh, and that is going to be the final episode of uh, The Bachelor Ships Out for Love. 
uh let's yeah. uh let's do a little check-in see where the gang's at before Recap. we see it previously on ncis <laughs> no ralph we can we can never be together but we're both from k-states uh ralph i don't know what to do I kicked all the my favorite people off the show, and now the one that I truly love doesn't want to be with me. Well, I quit. There's not going to be any more show. I'm sick and tired of talking like a pirate all the time. This isn't even my real voice, but I'm just trying to keep a career going, you know? <laughs> well on that's me and here i am just trying to make sure my son gets the right woman <laughs> ralph do you know what we've done i don't really know a lot i have a bad memory <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> the schnitzel shot a whole, a whole, a whole thing of bullets into the air and killed multiple birds, and now we're canceled. Yeah, I, I, at the end of the day, I think that was probably on you for not doing a background check on D schnitzel before they came on the show in the first place. I am just one pirate host. I am not responsible for all of the other administrative faculties involved in a reality TV show. Well, I would assume that you're all about the raping and pillaging, and you would also know about criminals and all their different activities. So why wouldn't you recognize that Dish Schnitzel would be someone who would mass murder? That's a lousy stereotype that all pirates be pillaging and lighting up towns and... And I reject your characterization of my character. Well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to discriminate, but I have had a very poor experience with this, and I don't really care to see you much anymore, so I say we get this exit interview done with, and I can go about my life. Fine. Oh, that was quick. Hmm. Well, I guess I better go catch my bus. Oh, whoa. Whoa. oh, Ralph, I didn't, I didn't think you'd be, I didn't think you'd be here today. I didn't expect to see you ever again. No, I was just, I was just walking in to, to go do my exit interview, and it's uh, it's good, it's good to see you look good. You look good. You look like a sexy witch. It, come on. Don't you can't you can't be talking like that to me anymore. You do. You look like you just went I came out of a Halloween USA wearing the costume that you bought. Oh, you didn't God, take you... it off when you went in the fitting room. Ralph, you look you look like Shrek from Shrek 2 when he turns into a real man. You look like the most That's handsome Shrek. Hell. That's a handsome Shrek. That's a handsome Shrek. And I, Ralph, we shouldn't be talking about this, okay? I We shouldn't be talking at all. I you broke my heart. You broke my damn heart. You didn't you didn't think that that you don't think that hurt me? That hurt me, okay? No. I bet that hurt me than more than it hurt you, okay? That's not even possible. I had two women that were we could have been perfectly fine for me, and I let them go. And then I came across you, and I realized that they were never right for me. You were the only right. One. You were. You're the first one that I ever um that I ever might have loved. Okay, that's right. Well, it's not too late for us. It is too late. I'm doing my exit interview. You just did it. We're not tied to this show anymore. We don't need the show anymore. We can run off to Venezuela. We can run off to Papua New Guinea, wherever you want to go. We can even go to another K State. I'll find tag, one tag, for you. Tag out, Jared. Oh, oh, son. oh, 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 o
It's only because you're trying to watch Jeopardy and I'm interrupting you. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Alex Trebek is still gone. Anyway, oh, no, I'm sorry to make you cry further. No, no, listen. I just, I don't know if she's right for you. I don't think anyone will ever be good enough for my boy. You're probably right, mother. But it's not that any, it's not that because anyone wouldn't be good enough for me. It's because I wouldn't be good enough for them. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Don't oh, you talk failure. about my son that way. I'm ugly. <laughs> <gasps> no. Why? I think you look like Shrek when he was a man. Oh, you reminded me of something someone once what? said to me. <laughs> How can that be taken sad? That's the biggest compliment anyone can ever give. It would be a compliment if it didn't break my heart because of the memories. Oh, son. Now you know that this show was just to give you love. Yeah. Yeah. And did you get love? No. What? I just got sad. Yeah, I got Esther. I hate you. What? what the hell are you doing in my house, Jake? I thought you were <laughs> done gone for. You know, I just wanted to give you this back. Your overalls. You never, overalls. Told, you never told anybody ab about that night in the fantasy suite, and they didn't get it on camera, but I know. Because it was purely carnal. It had nothing to do with emotions. I was stressed out after I eliminated Vivica. You know it. I know. And I'm glad, because... You you don't look the same without your shirt off. Without your please shirt don't off. do not tell me I look like handsome Shrek, please. <laughs> you look like donkey. Oh thank God! Hey you fucker! Tag out Michael. Okay, uh, I am gonna do your exit interview, and then um, we could just both move on with our lives. Um, let's see here. Question number one. Uh, I had a positive experience on The Bachelor. Uh, strongly agree, somewhat agree, neither agree nor disagree. Slightly disagree, strongly disagree. Four? Four? Uh, four from the bottom or four from the top? Look. This is not a hard question. Shut <laughs> Why? Look, Why man. I already got a gig lined up to play a minotaur in a Greek maze show, and I just, like, want to get out of here. So will you please answer the question? We could have been on MTV, but you had to stay with this sinking ship just like it's always been. Your I fucking obsession with acting like pirates has, has ruined our lives ever since I met you in high school. The whole time. The whole time. Pirates are suave yet cool, and they're like kind of bad boys, but they have a heart of gold. So why, what, why are you so? Why wouldn't you want to be a pirate? I don't understand. Because ever since I've met you, I have tried to get you places, and it always comes back to these reality TV shows, Renaissance fairs, LARPing. It's all. I wish you could see how good and talented you could be if you just... Well, I mean, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I get to be weird mythological creatures and uh, uh, like things from my childhood fantasies. You're the one who kind of seems like they're doing stuff that they don't want to do for no reason. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tag out Kevin. I'm here for my exit interview. Excellent. Question number one. 
I would recommend The Bachelor to a friend. Strongly agree, slightly agree, neither agree, nor disagree. Slightly disagree, strongly disagree. I was never really a, a character on the show. I came to make sure that my boy was safe, and I have to say he wasn't. His heart is broken in two or more pieces, and I feel like there has to be some sort of health care that tapes his heart together, provided by NBC or its affiliates. Well, The Bachelor is on ABC. I'm going to oh, mark that shoot. down as a slightly disagree. Same station as Jeopardy. Any loser. We're not allowed to say that anymore after all the things that have gone on. Question number two. Okay, but. I would like yeah. to take the host out for a drink after the show. Oh, Strongly nah. agree, slightly agree, neither agree, nor disagree. Slightly disagree, strongly disagree. It looks like somebody is shooting their shot. Like with a cannon? Like with their heart that maybe isn't broken yet. And maybe I have the chance to break it if I want to. That is not an answer to the question. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you like fish sandwiches? Oh, baby, you know I do. Because I can make one of these. I just think getting on this show was wrong. And I never should have been allowed to be on here. The question was, would you recommend The Bachelor to a friend? I wouldn't recommend it to my worst enemy. Okay? Because all it does is cause pain. And, and for handsome men to... To come into your life and you push them away and they they go through your fingers like sand, like something you can't grasp, and and then you're left with nothing. You're left with a hole in your chest, and and sure you get in TV and and your mom respects you more, but for what? Nothing. I have nothing to show. Heartache. I'm going to mark that as a strongly disagree. Yeah. Okay. How old are you, Dorothy? I've just been wondering the whole time. I'm 18 years old, okay? I came straight from Kansas. Okay. Oh. I should be at my high school prom right now, but here I am. Okay. Look, I was like you once. You, you missed your high school prom? I don't. You look like a prom person. I, I wasn't invited. You were. Everyone gets invited to the prom. I was invited to the prom. I I, I was I was homeschooled. Uh oh. And my my parents had a prom, and oh, they no. didn't invite me to it. I'm. So and so that explains that. Exp Jake, honestly, that explains a lot about your personality. I'm going to be honest. I think that they locked me out, and I, I think they just had sex in my bedroom the whole time. Is that is that why you're here, Jake? So you can so you, so you could have had sex in someone else's bedroom. I, I'm here because I wanted to make it big, to get on a T-Mobile commercial or more, and that's. These shows, they just, they, they tear you apart. They've yeah. torn me apart. I don't, I didn't think anyone else felt this way. I didn't know you felt this way. Yeah. I mean, you know, everybody's been acting. Like, the fucking idiot pirate doesn't have a pirate voice. His name is Ross Schneider. He's from Peoria, Illinois. What? Yeah. He's I mean, the, the beard's taped on. The beard, you mean I could rip that damn thing off and all I see is a shiny face underneath? What? Yeah. I was afraid of that beard. I am afraid of that beard. And I, I'm not sure about Ralph, but I'm just telling you in this world, just don't believe 
everything that you see. Ralph's not real, huh? He, I... What a mind blower. Ralph's not real. Wow. Ralph's not real. Are any of us real? It's just, we're just like a collection of energy that's moving really fast. What the fuck? What's a human soul? But it's not over, guys. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> not? Now, and now for the next 15 minutes, we're going to talk metaphysics deep. Yes. Metaphysics discussion. This is what people who tune in to comedy shows about reality shows are always aching for. Genuine conversations between the uninformed about metaphysics. What is it? What, I don't even know what metaphysics is, to be honest. Nobody does. So how about this instead? What if we, uh, <laughs> what if we did uh, the after show? Uh, we brought all these people back and uh, we, we took a look at their lives a couple of months in the future. Yay! So great. Yes. So, Yay! Fantastic. So we leave and come back, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we'll do a little, I'll give you a little, we'll do a little cue real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll jump into the after show. Previously on NCIS. Welcome back, one and all, to the Bachelor reunion show for season 47, Ships Out for Love. We have with us some of the competitors, as well as Ralph himself. How's everybody yeah. feeling this evening? Well, I'm doing very well. I, I'm doing very well. I'm happy that my son is doing very well, and I'm also doing very well, host. I just got out of rehab six hours ago. I'm going into rehab in six hours. Oh, wow. And I have to go to a federal penitentiary after this. But no! let me start here. Ralph, a lot has been made on the internet about you not being real. So my question for you is this. Are you real? I'm as real as a heart attack. I'm so real, I can't even see straight. Ralph, yeah. if I reach out and touch you, will my hand phase right through it? You? I don't understand where this is coming from. I, I'm just a normal guy from Kentucky. Drop the act, you f just drop it. Yeah, tell him, Jake. Okay, yeah. fine. I'm a ghost. <sighs> I'm a you don't know how much of a relief that is to hear, Ralph. <sighs> but that don't mean I can't love. I'm yes, a, just as real and alive as the rest of you. I'm just a little un I'm not crazy. I'm just a little undead. I know right now you can't spend. My son died 22 years ago, and I went to a woman who had a machine, and I put five cents, and the guy lit up, and it was a ball, and he gave me a thing, and I said, my wish is for my son to come back, and here he is. What, why, why didn't you just sell it as, like, ghost adventures? People try to date a ghost that hasn't been done before, and maybe because I don't prescribe to have ghosts being a part of my personality, it's just part of my condition, Jake. And you weren't complaining when this ghost dick filled you up full of yummy, yummy cum. <sighs> uh, that this was show so is gross. Technically, PG, so we're on, if we could, we're on Paramount Minus right now, we can say whatever we want. That's true. Nobody from the network is actually going to watch this. Dick hole. There. Okay. I'm just as good as you now, Ralph. What should I go do? Should I go kill Stop myself it. now so I can be a ghost forever with you? Is that what you would want, Ralph? Is that what you wanted for me the whole show. time? I don't want that at all, Dorothy. You know how long it took for me to get over you? 
You know how long it's took for me to strike the look of in your eye when you said you don't love me for my emotional memory? I thought I loved you for more than that, but it turns out you're just a filthy ghost. You're a dirty, filthy, good for nothing oh, you stop ghost. That. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You shouldn't ho, talk ho. to any ghost that way. I'll talk okay. to any ghost how I want to talk. Okay, you've never been hurt by a ghost. No. Oh, I haven't. Who do you think his father is? How do you? My think? daddy's a ghost too. His daddy's a ghost too. You mean you're half ghost, full ghost? So I'm you, a three quarters ghost. Uh, you you were born a ghost? No. He died. My dad. Twenty two years ago. We aren't getting into the science of this. This is all about my heartbreak. And I'm just, I, I was doing really good. I found a nice person I went on a first date with yesterday. And it was a great time. And now all these emotions are bubbling back up to the surface. And you're out and indoxing me for being a ghost. And I didn't want that out at all. Yeah. You need to tell people up front, Ralph. That's that's deceiving of you. What, what no. deceitful. What, what petting farm did you meet your date at, Ralph? Yeah. Now Why that is everyone being so mean to me? I yeah. thought this would be a nice reunion. What ghost goat are you going to fuck tonight, Ralph? Oh, yeah, did you get your dick wet in some ghost cow? You My son cow. only has intercourse with ghost humans. You all are so I'm dirty, not, filthy I'm mouths. Not, I will I'm wash not, you all out. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but only exorcisms will hurt me. You don't he have, have bones. bones. He Ralph, doesn't you, have bones. You, your mom Dorothy, doesn't know. I might I would have expected this type of talk and behavior from Jake and maybe Redbeard, but never from you. I would have expected more from you and you I am disappointed in you. Rehab. Ralph, could you go ahead and never say the E word? We don't say that in my house. Exorcism. Shut. I'm still your mom. I'll still put you over my knees and hit your little ghost bot tongue twice. Yes, mama. I'm sorry. You all had to see that. Rehab changed me, Ralph. Okay, it took it took any love I had and it and it and it smushed it like a bug. Okay, they made us smush bugs in rehab. I mean, well, I like ghosts. the prehab, Dorothy. I like the prehab witchy woman. That you were, and now you're just some shell. You're more of a ghost of your previous self than I am. Of course, of course you a ghost love the witchy woman. That's all you want, right? You want someone just like you. You should have known when he told you that you look like a witch. You should have known, Dorothy, then. And you should have loved him for who he is. I was young. 18 years old out of Kansas. Now you're 18 and two months old. And I'm changed. I'm a woman now. My lord. Do two lines of cocaine and now you're a woman. Yeah, Jeez that's Louise. how it works. I would like to step in here and direct a question to Jake. Jake, why are you going to rehab? I hurt my shoulder. No, it's not that type of rehab. I just hurt my shoulder. It's a physical therapy. Well, I hope I wish you well. Fuck you, Ralph. Oh, no. My next question is for Dorothy. What? Dorothy, you're from Kansas. Yeah, K-State. Do you think that Kansas is the best K-State? Or is yes. maybe Connecticut a better K-State? There's no. two K's in there. Connecticut. Connecticut's a very good K-State. No, Connecticut can go suck a dick. Yeah. <gasps> So can Kentucky. Kentucky can go Just suck a bigger dick. No, son. Oh, Don't you dare talk about Kentucky like that. We were bonding over how much we both liked those K-States. Kentucky can now, go to hell and stay there like a ghost should. Now. what? A Dorothy, I might have missed this, but where are you from again? From Kansas. Okay. Yeah, Kansas dick fit in your mouth. What did you say? This is filthy. Filthy. I have a question. Okay, host. 
Yeah, go ahead for Hello? sure. Yeah, okay. I don't care. Do whatever you want. <laughs> the damn show. Okay. Um, did I leave my shoes under your bed last night? Because I can't oh, find them. Boy. You Ooh. have to check my personal lost and found. Ooh. Wait right. a minute. Oh, oh, wait God. a second. Mama. Personal lost. What? Your mother deserves a strong man. I won't hear one word about it, Ralph. You're dating this scurvy, stinky sis pal, Mom. Well, Honey. she smells a little like fish, but that's because of the sandwiches. Ralph, it's I feel sandwiches. sorry for you. Ralphie boy, how would you feel about not calling him host and calling him daddy? I wouldn't like that very much. Well, you better get used to calling me daddy, son. Uh, well, I guess I got no choice. Do, does she know you're not a pirate yet? What? Pirate? Oh, was I was I not supposed to say that? But what do you mean he's not a pirate? He's got a hat. He's got a he's parrot. A, he's got the shoes. He's got, he's got, a, got the boat. Yeah, he's I've got been the answer. That bird for two months. That bird can say my name I, in Spanish. Have you, have you ever been on a boat? Ross, call me Ross. Have you been one more time? Who's Ross? Yeah, I'm Ross. Um, I'm not a real pirate. Uh, I I'm an actor. Uh, Jake and I met at Juilliard. Um, oh my God, you went to Juilliard, and this is what you're doing? You spent yeah, a fun. lot of money oh, for nothing. Good. Why is everybody on me about my career choices? I wanted to do this. I wanted to pretend to be a pirate and then, like, maybe use the fact that I was a pirate to sleep with somebody who thought I was a pirate while still being a pirate. Did you Ross, also geez. use your degree to get into my Brazil? Yes. And I'd do it again. <laughs> wow! Why we? You manipulated my mother. All, all fair, all fair in, in love and war. I wanted pirate dick. And you know, as far as you know, you got it. So I, I don't understand what the problem is here. It's wow. different. And I thought I was bad for hiding the fact that I'm a ghost, but this is unforgivable. I think well, we can all agree on that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ross, you're. I hate your guts, man. This is you way worse. Ross, How oh. ridiculous shit different. It's probably because of the parrot. I'm disappointed in you, Ross. Whatever, Ralph. I don't give a shit. What are you talking about? You're a ghost. He's not his dad. You can't talk to him like that. You were his dad. He's not That's my right. daddy. My daddy was a ghost. I Ross. can look right through my dad. I could see everything going on with him. I don't see. I don't even know who this man is. And you know why? You can't say that he was. Because what happened to your daddy? He got exorcised. He did. And it was brutal and gruesome. Hard. This is very hard. But it's how us ghosts have to go one day. Well, we all go, we all meet the great beyond by being exercised. Can it's, I, a great, it's called the relief of afterlife. Can I just say something in my defense really quick? You know, if nobody, if, if Jake hadn't, hadn't told you that I wasn't a pirate, would anybody have, would, wouldn't it, wouldn't it, everything have been fine? Right? Wouldn't, if you I think all I thought I was a pirate? Now. I, I was looking forward to meet your yeah. pirate parents I'm and a your pirate, pirate family. I, I went to Juilliard. I'm a pretty good actor. Are you gonna do you have really. a whole house full of pirate actors? No, you can't. Now that I think that about off. it, your your accent dropped an awful lot. Well, it's hard on my vocal cords. It's a tough. It's a tough voice to do. You know, sometimes yeah. you make choices as a character and you don't realize that they're a mistake until it's too late. You're two episodes in. Well, you know. The fact that you cut off a leg was commitment. That's the Stanislavski method. You have to cut off a body part to be a pirate. That's I commend you on that. So maybe uh, you and I could go and get a drink after this? 
I don't even know who you are. I'll go. That was a lot. Yeah, that was oh a lot. God. Thank you to everybody who, who stuck with us through that. That was fun to do. I had fun doing that. So uh, this has been, uh, uh, we are, I'm sorry. We are the Planet Digital House team, but individually we are. Oh, Jared. Oh, Jared. Oh. Fuck. We're we going clockwise? What's let's, happening? Wait, let's just start over. Let's just go one more time. We got to get this right. Point to the person you want to start. Individually, we are Jared. <laughs> point. You know, Parker, point. Point to the person that you want to point start. To the person. And Individually, we on. are <laughs> Kevin, Esther, Jared, Michael, Parker. Okay, we did it. We did it. We so did good. it. Wow. Thanks, Yay. everybody. This has been a wonderful show. We'll be back next week, same time, uh, to do a different to do a different four week run. So if you have any thoughts about like a fun show you might want to see done like this, I guess, uh, uh, let us know next week. Or, or I would even say you can message us personally. How about that? Also, like, buy tickets for Monday Night Improv. Ooh, buy tickets for Monday Night Improv. Yeah. Oh, um, we- plug it. Yeah, can we? We're going to do uh, – I don't remember what it's called. It's like the big improv extravaganza the thing that they're improv doing. The, yeah, we're uh, – several of us, not all of us because we live in different states. Some of us are going to uh, be uh, performing at that show. So if you're going to be there, uh, come say hi to us, but like in a cool, nice way. Uh, yeah. It's and- September 24th, right? It's at 10 o'clock on September 24th. It's at the Planet Ant. I believe you have to purchase tickets uh, beforehand. I don't think it's a full capacity event because of the world. Uh, but, yeah, come and see us do that and come tune in for us next week. And thank you for watching. Yeah. And, and then, I love uh, you all. And then the Duprees are playing the Monday Night Improv, right? Yeah. 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 I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there. It's going to be uh, live streamed as well. Um, so if you can't, I think, I'm pretty yay. sure. I guess say that uh, maybe i shouldn't have said that we're well we're gonna attempt to live stream it as well uh so if you can't make it hopefully you'll be able to tune in for it hopefully and uh if that doesn't work out you can blame me and i will Woo. i will listen to all of your angry messages about how i told you one thing and then i yank the rug out from underneath you also so. also uh grapes 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 Grapes, grapes, grapes. Grapes, oh, grapes, grapes. Yeah, grapes, yeah, grapes, 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 grapes. Yeah, grapes, grapes, thanks grapes, to Laura grapes, Dupree for a great suggestion grapes, that grapes. I forgot about. <laughs> okay, grapes. and with that, have a lovely rest of your Thursday. Go watch some football, America. Great.